Hi everyone. Hi. Today we're making ham and cheese muffins. Yes. So pretty much as it sounds, ham and cheese, and we're going to bake it in a muffin tin. So we have all of our ingredients ready here. So for the cheese, we're going to use uh, 50 grams of Parmesan cheese and then 100 grams of like tasty or cheddar cheese. We've also got some almond flour, some sour cream, eggs, some chopped chives, baking powder, garlic powder, and then our ham. And this is just sliced leg ham that we have finely diced up. So that is all our ingredients. I love muffins for a number of reasons. They're delicious, but <laughs> also like they're great. You can make a batch on the weekend yeah. and you pretty much got breakfast all ready lunch. to go for the whole, or lunch for the yeah. whole week. Um, they're really kid friendly. Mm -hmm. So kids will love these. Um, you may be able to put them in their lunchbox depending, depending on, on the nut school. policy. Sometimes the nut policy is fine if they're in like something like this but not fine if they're like a whole nut so oh, okay. um, I'm not sure. I think it depends but they are um, really delicious and um, easy to kind of make a batch ahead and you're, you're set for the week yeah. and if you're someone who um, you know wakes up showers and heads out the door yes. this you can eat in the car you yeah. can eat it at room temperature Mm -hmm. um, or warm it in the, the microwave and then yeah, jump in the car true. and have brekkie, so. Very versatile. And if you're somebody, I know a lot of people might get sick of eggs or whatnot, this doesn't feel like an egg. It's not an egg egg-y type like, muffin. Yeah, yeah. So I've just put the almond flour in here with our garlic powder, baking powder and our chives and just kind of tossed it around. I'm going to add in the ham and the cheese as well and just kind of toss it all together and then we'll add our wet ingredients in last. So we have a few different type of muffin recipes on our website, mm -hmm. um, sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. So the savory ones we have, we have breakfast muffins that are reasonably similar yeah. to this, but a different they flavor. They have bacon and onion in them. They're really And thyme. They taste like a bit like stuffing, I reckon. <laughs> um, we also have a, like a more egg style muffin yeah with um, ricotta and spinach yeah uh, that's not spinach salami that's delicious um the couple of sweet ones we have is we have the blueberry muffins mm -hmm. we have the pecan cheesecake muffins yeah and we also have a peanut butter chocolate chip type muffin as well so yes. if you like muffins we got you <laughs> we, we got you covered so we have got our almond meal baking powder garlic powder chives ham and cheese in here and now i'm just going to mix together our sour cream and our eggs i'm just going to mix it in this jug first and then add it into because kind of this is the wet mixture for our muffin but yeah as dan said this is a great kind of make ahead option like you could make a batch of these on a sunday if you're someone who struggles with time for breakfast during the week, which I know a lot of people don't have time, or if they're going to the gym or whatever they're doing. Also, we have frozen them. They freeze quite well, so you can even just grab one out the night before or out of the freezer. Um, if you wanted to have them stored in the freezer, that's no problem. So we just want to mix this um, egg oh, <laughs> and sour cream together. It doesn't need to be perfectly smooth but just try and break up the sour cream a bit and now we'll add in so this is the wet mixture into our dry mixture then just stir it up so they're pretty easy as well I think like they come together pretty easily once Erica's got that mixed it's going to go into our muffin molds as you know, we're always going to prefer the silicon muffin molds. It's so much easier to get them out. They don't yeah. stick. You don't need to use paper because you know when you make, especially keto um, ones, they will stick to paper and stuff like that. So they come out nice and clean, hopefully, 
out of these um, the silicon invest in them because they're totally worth it we have a bunch of different sizes yeah. now you can get them at not these ones but you can get a lot of different sizes at Kmart so definitely go with silicon yes and you can see it's quite like a thick kind of butter that's how it's meant to be so I'm just going to divide it up so I'm just going to use this kind of ice cream scoop. It's actually very good for... It's a great way of keeping the portion yeah. size similar when you're dishing yeah. it out as well. Now this, our muffin molds are quite big. So it could depend on how big your muffin molds are. As to how many, how you'll, many get. you'll get. But these ones we bought in the US and they're a little bit strange because they're five and not six. <laughs> um, but they work the best very, yeah, they're, they're and you get a good sized muffin yeah. out of them so if you're having one muffin for breakfast this size is going to fill you up if you go smaller you might need to take two the other thing i like about this muffin um silicon muffin tray versus other ones i've used is that the base is narrower and then it gets wider at the top and it makes it a lot easier to get something out so when you're buying yours that's a good thing to look out for whereas if it's straight up and down they don't be, have any room to move yeah, as you can pull be a them bit out difficult so okay so there are our muffins ready to go in the oven now we have our oven preheated at 160 degrees so a little bit cooler just that helps when you're baking with almond flour for it not to darken um, and we're going to bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're nice and golden brown and risen up a little bit. Definitely keep an eye on them at that 20 minute mark because like Erica said, almond meal can kind of catch so yeah. just uh, and, and go quite dark. So just keep an eye on them. Pop them in. Okay. They're done. Our muffins are out of the oven and we've just popped them out of the silicon tray and let them cool completely on this wire rack. So as you can see, they don't like rise up much. No. So if you want a higher, bigger muffin, put more. Yeah, put more in less less muffins. units. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> units. So <laughs> less units. These have been out and they're completely cool now. We'll give them a try. They smell really delicious mm -hmm. while they were cooking, so I'm excited to try. Oh yeah. Mmm. They're really, really good. Mm -hmm. I really get the ham, the cheese, I really like the chives in it as well. It's just like a subtle kind of oniony flavour. Yeah. It feels like a bacon and egg roll or something. Yes. It's so good. Yeah, like the Baker's Delight kind of ones. Mm. It does have those vibes, doesn't like it? Like a cheese and bacon roll. Mm. Mm. I like that a lot. Yum. Have a go at making these. I don't think you'll regret it because they're really delicious. Kid friendly too. Uh, definitely. I think I've said kid friendly in this and video. And fussy about husband friendly. 45 times. <laughs> um, if you've liked this video, as always, please give us a thumbs up so we know to make more videos like this. Subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.